You cough. Your throat hurts and your body shivers. You don't know how long you've been sick with this strange fever, always falling in and out of nightmares. You can see the worry in your parents' faces. At first, they hadn't even let you stay at home. Until you started coughing up blood, that is. Now you're lying in bed, trying to remember what the sun felt like. You imagine yourself lying on a field surrounded by a sea of flowers. Insects buzz around you, creating a sense of peace and calm. In your mind, you can feel the sun kissing your skin, warming you inside and out. But it's not real. As you realize this, the cold begins to creep in. The soft, warm light behind your eyelids is replaced by darkness. Is it night, you wonder? You lost your sense of time long ago. Weakly, you turn, reaching for the glass of water next to your bed. But you're stopped by something hard. Hard. You open your eyes to pitch black darkness. It's never that dark in your room. The blinds have been broken for years. You reach out and encounter the same hard object stopping you. You feel your way along it. A wall. Fear invades you as you reach out using both hands and feet to feel your way. You realize that you're completely encased by walls, lying on something soft. Could this be? No. You aren't dead. This is just a nightmare. This is a nightmare, you repeat, as you notice the air getting thinner. This is a nightmare, you repeat, as you hear a soft grating sound. This is a nightmare, you repeat, as you feel movement on your legs. This is a nightmare, you repeat, as the wiggling things move all over your body. This is a nightmare you want to yell as your skin is being eaten away. This is a nightmare. 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 You jerk awake, opening your eyes to a pale light invading your windows, reflecting in the water next to your bed. You are sweating even more than usual shivering not only due to the fever. You want to sit up, but you're too weak to even lift your hand. Outside, you hear your parents talking. They're both crying. You want to tell them that everything will be fine, but you don't believe that anymore. You listen to their voices as you drift back off. Thump. 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 Muffled sounds wake you up. You open your eyes to an absolute, impenetrable blackness. Feebly, you lift your arm and touch the wall of your coffin. Your heart starts hammering weakly in your chest as you hear more earth falling on the casket. You try to scream but no sound escapes your chapped lips. You're too weak for that. It's a nightmare, you tell yourself. But deep inside, you know that this time, it isn't 